Okay, we're here with Jean-Francois Lacoste from Cavium, and Cavium has agreed to recreate for us the demonstration of their small cell solution that gained a lot of attention at Small Cell World in London earlier this summer. Jean-Francois, thank you so much for your time today. My pleasure. Can you explain for us a little bit about what you've got set up here? Yes, so what we have set up here is a full end-to-end -end demonstration of our LTE small cell product. So in the middle, you see the white box, that's actually our reference design. So this is our small cell, which, uh, which runs the CNF7130 chipset. It can support up to 128 users. And today, what I'm showing you is uh, close to 32 UEs that are actually active, connecting, uh, pinging, and doing some, some work. The full end-to-end -end system basically consists of the full packet, uh, Evolve packet core, uh, an application server that's hooked up behind it, uh, on which we run uh, MediaToom, which is like a media streaming uh, service. And then we have other laptops, uh, which we use as uh, UEPCs, where we aggregate uh, different UEs. Uh, these are commercial UEs as well. They're connected to the laptop, and through that, we can actually stream videos. Uh, they're HD videos. So each video is about, you know, 8, 10 megabit per second. And we can go to capacity, which is about 70 megabit per second, total throughput on the downlink, and 20 on the uplink. Okay. This is what this, is what this setup is, is doing. And can you talk about a little bit about uh, the conditions that have to be met to reach those uplink and downlink throughput speeds? Yeah, so right now we're actually all over the air. Uh, so the entire setup runs over the air, and uh, we have to have a pretty good uh, environment to be able to use the MIMO technology, which this is using. It's using two antennas, so you have to have uh, this MIMO in order to be able to achieve this 70 uh, megabit per second. And also this is running 10 megahertz bandwidth, uh, which is one of the, uh, the bandwidths from, from QGPP. And another important thing is all of this, all these uh, users can actually be serviced through this box using only uh, the PoE. So this is also a very big uh, and important aspect of small cells uh, in deployments, given kind of things that PoE, uh, PoE Plus will, run, will be used to power up the cells indoor mostly. Okay, wonderful. Thank you.